Hey y'all, I'm back. So while I was doing this art, I was like to my mom, help me write some history notes about the brats. So I'm like, it'd be interesting if I just do makeup and I just talk about the brats. So I got some little notes right here. <laughs> It's your girl Zemi Bay, and I'm back with another video. And today, this video means a lot to me because it's Brat's 20th. What is going on? Like, the it's the vibration for me. Okay, let's try this again. Hey, babe, it's your girl Zemi Bay, and I'm back with another video. And today, this video is going to be about Brat's because it's Brat's 20th anniversary, y'all. That is so crazy. I remember getting my first set of Bratz dolls 20 years ago when I was seven. That is so wild and uh, I remember the first day I got my Bratz dolls. But before I get the whole storyline, because I'm gonna obviously do my makeup. So because it's um, Bratz 20th anniversary, I'm transforming myself into a Bratz doll. So this is a Bratz doll that I'm going to be doing. I saw this Bratz doll, I'm like, this is something I can definitely do. I have the outfit, well I'm gonna make the outfit. And I'm gonna do the hair and makeup and everything like that. So yeah, that's why I'm really, really excited to do this look. And I thought it'd be cool to kind of like do my makeup and talk about me in my history with my brats and um, the doll history and why I love brats and just like me doing my makeup. So I thought it'd be a really dope thing. So I already actually glued down my brows. I actually just got to be glued today. Normally I do use the glue stick, but I ran out of glue stick. And here in Canada, we keep a buy glue stick because it's not essential. Anyways, <laughs> so we're gonna get into this makeup look. Um, we're gonna do the eyes. I'm probably gonna do, I'm gonna block my brows, do my eyebrows uh, on camera with you guys so you guys can see how I do my eyebrows. I actually do it the drag queen way. I saw how Patrick started doing it so y'all can see how I do it. And then I'm gonna do one eye off camera. I'm gonna do one eye on camera just so I can figure it out because I'm not doing this look too cartoony. I wanna still look very real life, not too doll like. Still doll like, but not too doll like, if you know what I mean. And I'm not gonna do the whole foundation routine and everything like that. I think the eyes are gonna be more interesting, and then we'll go with blush, highlight, lips, and stuff like that. So I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. So let's get into this video. So once you get your brows all slicked down and everything and it's dried, it's funny fun fact um, I actually have had my brows glued down since like three o'clock today when I was supposed to do this video. Now it's like borderline 10 p.m. I'm doing this video, so I'm gonna be up to like 4 o'clock in the morning. No worries, I got nowhere to go tomorrow. Anyways, I have a whole video on how to do, how to block your brows. I will post it right here. Um, I do have a whole routine, so I'm not gonna really go into detail. I don't know why I'm going into detail like that, as if I don't have a whole video on how to block your brows like a baddie. Like, are you crazy? I think I should do some brats history. Ooh. Ooh, let me, let me pull up Wikipedia for you guys. Let's, let's do that. It just came into my head. Let's do the Brad's history and let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Wow, okay, we're doing a history lesson now. This is awesome, this is awesome. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so Brad's is an American product line of fashion dolls and merchandise manufactured by MJ Entertainment and created by Carter Bryant. So I remember when I got my first set, my first Brad's dolls, I got all four of the main ones. Chloe, Jade, Sasha, and Yasmin. I got all of them. Um, my aunt came to visit me. So at that time, before Bratz came along, I was a Barbie in my scene fanatic. If you guys don't remember um, my scene, my scene were, they were that, they were those girls. Like my scene were popping. Like the my scene website was lit back then. Like what? I wonder if I can find like how it looks like and maybe post on the screen. So the my scene dolls were like, everything and i was barbie through and through i was a barbie girl through and through like you couldn't tell me like i was a barbie girl um i was obsessed with polly pocket no i was not obsessed with polly pocket i was obsessed with betty spaghetti y'all don't if y'all don't know betty spaghetti you're too young for me too young for me um kelly dolls groovy girls like, i was obsessed with all those dolls growing up so my aunt came down from the states and i was a doll girl i was a doll kid and this is when i time in the time where i just moved to toronto I know, right? I'm not a real Torontonian. I'm actually from Ottawa, but they don't gotta know that. So anyways, 
she came down from the states and she brought me four brat stalls for the main ones for for the first ever i think pretty sure the first ever brat stall because they were just in regular clothing it was no um there was no uh theme just regular right and their outfits were everything their big lips their big eyes and i was like who are these girls and from then on it was a wrap i never looked at barbie the same way I never looked at my scene the same way. The minute the brats came into my life, it was it was honestly a wrap. It it was a wrap. It wasn't even a competition at that point. They literally they actually they actually did take over. I'm not gonna front you. They took over. They took over. I I was all about the brats now. All about the brats now. And it was just it was everything. I don't know what it was. But like it was just so fascinating. Their outfits were so their big lips, their big head, their removable feet. I remember my cousins always making fun of me for my brats having removable feet. They were so mean to me, but whatever, it didn't matter. And from then on, my brats collection just it literally blew up. It literally like it was crazy. I think that year or the following year, I got 13 Bratz dolls for Christmas. And it's to the point where, because if anybody knows, if you're a true Bratz doll fan, like you know Bratz come in that very um, signature shape. And so my my mom would wrap them up and I would instantly knew I was getting Bratz for Christmas. I'm like, mm, this is a Bratz, this is a Bratz, this is a Bratz. So my mom actually had to start start like um, putting them in boxes so I wouldn't know what's a Bratz doll. But yeah, I'm gonna show, insert a clip where I got like about 13 Bratz dolls in one year, in one Christmas. So I, yes, I'm an only child. So, you know, and my mom is a doll person. So my, my, my family were cool with putting, making me into dolls, every, making me love dolls, everything. I think till this day, I probably own about 120 Bratz dolls. I do have every single Bratz doll still. Some are in boxes, um, some are in storage, but I have ev I still own every single Bratz doll. Every single one, they're still here. I wonder if I can pull it out. I don't know, they're all in storage. I might convince my mother to take it out for me. But yeah, I own every single Bratz doll still. I have the lifestyle Bratz dolls. I have the Bratz phone. I have the Bratz head. Um, but I wasn't really. I'm not. I was a kid that wasn't really into accessories. Accessories weren't really my thing. I didn't care for accessories that much. So for me, I was actually into um, the actual like Bratz doll itself. I liked the clothes. I had everything: the pirates, to the goth ones, to the twins, to the fairies. Oh my god! I had like the boys i had the boy i had all the boys too i had the brats babies but i wasn't that into them i wasn't that into them as well so i was like mm. but i was into the dolls like i was never into accessories it was never my thing never even when i was into barbies in my scene i didn't care for the car i had the car i had the buggy i had the castle I wasn't into it so your girl's a doll girl and i really hope that my future kids is a doll person so let's get into brats okay so four original 10 inch dolls were released in 2001 oh my god yasmin chloe jade and sasha i was in love with sasha though brats fared poorly at their may 21st okay it was 21st may 21st is their debut okay debut mostly due to a long hand monopoly by barbie their popularity increased the following christmas in their five years 125 million products were sold worldwide mm, i remember does i remember when like brats and like it was brats versus barbie that was a thing and like honestly i'm sorry but brats came in and shook the damn table because prior to that barbie was just doing the most marriage barbie pregnant barbie like they were doing the most like they were doing the absolute most and i know brats came in and just like shook up the game like what they literally came in and shook up the game okay so my brows look effing snatched right now Snatch. So I'm gonna finish this eye off camera and then we come back and we do the second eye together and I can talk to you guys more about the brats. Hey y'all, I'm back. So while I was doing this eye, I was like to my mom, help me write some history notes about the brats. Cause I'm like, it'd be interesting if I just do makeup and I just talk about the brats. So I got some little notes right here. So I'm gonna like just talk to you guys about the notes and talk to you guys about the brats while I'm just doing my makeup. So what's really cool about the brats, the brats had the main dolls, like the brass doll, like the dolls that we all loved. However, from that, they came up with little brats, brats boys, brats kids, brats babies, itsy bitsy brats, brats angels, bee brats, and brats pets. 
Is that Pez, mom? It looks it looks Pez. like Pez? Yes. Oh. <laughs> My mom does her Z's and it looks like a backwards three. <laughs> <laughs> so what what made brats like I don't know I feel like what made brats so different from Barbie it was just super edgy and they had really cool themes that we could relate to back then right so um with brats throughout the years they introduced like different characters different girls even had a set of twins introduced at one point they always had theme backgrounds, you know, the fairies, the goth girls, the rock angels. Remember they, they had like the camping one? The camping one. They had Spider-Man. They had Christmas. They had Winter Wonderland. Like they had so many versions of Bratz. And, and the fact that the outfits were so fun and different and very trendy. Way more trendy than Barbie. I'm sorry, Barbie. You were my first love, but Bratz, like we had a divorce and Bratz came in. It just, it just happened that way. And Bratz also had like play sets too. They had furniture, they had cars, they had all that stuff. Like I said, I was never into the accessories. I was never into the accessories when it came to the Bratz. I was always more into the doll and the clothing itself. Like for me, I love the fact that the dolls always came with different hair color, different makeup. Be Bratz were rocking cut creases before we were rocking cut creases. Like when I look back at all my Bratz, I'm like, damn, y'all had cut creases. I didn't even know that. I had no idea. So, you know, Bratz was that. Also, Bratz had a whole thing called Bratzilla, which were witchy cousins of the Bratz, and I didn't even know that was a thing. Did y'all hear about Bratzilla? Because I, I didn't know about I that. I didn't know about that either. Right? Like, the, like I'm, I was going to Google it to see what came up because it's the Bratz. Yeah, the I'm gonna cousins, right? yeah, I'm going to insert a picture so you guys can see it, and let me know if you guys heard of the Bratzillas before because I didn't. I don't recall ever. I didn't buy this for you. I wonder if this was. I think this could have been the later generation. Probably. My generation had lit all the lit stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so in 2013, the brats changed up their whole game because you know, obviously, the girlies from 2001 to 2013. I was pretty much in the generation. I would say I was, I was playing from with brats from 2001, and I would say maybe. Hmm, I want to say like 2009, I would say. So you were first generation I was brats. first generation brats. Listen, don't come for me. I was there. I was there from the very beginning. So <laughs> we ain't doing this today. So 2013, you know, now it's time to revamp and stuff like that. I feel like back then, like, the, hit, the, the toy history, like, industry was being really hit. So brats switched up. They got a new logo. They got a new slogan. Wait, they don't go by passion for fashion anymore? Because... That was a slogan I remember. They 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 got a new one and then they went back to it. They went back to it. Okay, thank God because they cannot switch the brat to the passion for fashion. Like absolutely not. And they got new bodies, new bodies with arti articulated arms so they can like bend and all that kind of stuff. Listen, I was used to my brats not moving and I didn't have a problem with it at all. Like as long as their clothes were popping, that all that matters and their arms can move. Oh my god, I remember when my brat's arms would fall off. I would be devastated. And I remember taping them up. And it would be always my favorite brats because I the ones I used to play with a lot. And I used to be I used to cry. Like I cried. So in 2014, Bratz went on a hiatus. They and then they returned in 2015 with a new member, Raya. So Rhea was a new girl. She was a blonde baddie, a blonde tan baddie. So we have the main girls and then we have Rhea as a new one. But to be honest, I didn't really see much hype with Rhea or any of the new. I only ever see most people talk about the main four and, and never the rest. I remember there was a Megan at one point. There was twins. There's, there's so many different like Bratz girls and like, way more than um, what we see. But I always see them just promote the same the same ones, right? So Rhea was a new girly. They introduced her, but I don't see much of her. And that was past my generation. So in 2016, after 14 years of a beautiful long run with Bratz, not 14, 15 years, they discontinued because of low sales. Because don't forget, there's a point where kids didn't play with dolls anymore. Everybody wanted, like, you know, the iPhones, the MacBooks. Everybody's being on more social media more. So kids weren't playing with dolls like they used to. Like, kids were playing with, with toys in just general. And honestly, that breaks my heart because when I think about my childhood, 
and what like the brats meant to me and like playing with toys like it was definitely like such a great way for me to be creative and everything like that so it was really disappointing to know that like they had a discontinued back in 2016 but that it was just them there was a lot of um toys that got hit barbie got hit i feel like cabbage patch kids was went hit i feel like lego got hit a little bit too but lego kind of made it up with their really with their movies but a lot of this, the toys that we grew up with and games and stuff like that unfortunately just it wasn't it just it just didn't do good okay so obviously we gotta talk about brad's history we gotta talk about their controversy sip water because it's past eight o'clock and your girl is on a keto diet and intermediate fasting okay so brats obviously you know when you're just a baddie you have, you're gonna deal with controversy it's just inevitable so here's some of the controversy the brats had to deal with so there was a group called dads and daughters and they they were on the brats next okay so they were upset with brats coming out with a brat secret date so pretty much it was a brats and you got like a surprise boy with it i vaguely remember having something like that because i collected the boys as well too i had the girls and i had the boys like i was like no way i needed i needed the boys to be up in the mix but i definitely had that and like i don't know why they were so mad when Bra when barbie had pregnant barbie <laughs> Mom, remember pregnant Barbie? I do. Pregnant Barbie. Mm -hmm. They also um, complained with that whole secret, Brad's secret date thing that was sending the wrong message, that um, Brad's being sold with a mysterious, mysterious boy wasn't a good thing to young girls. It was encouraging girls to grow up too soon, encouraging girls to sneak out the house. <laughs> also promoting going on blind dates with strangers. In my opinion, they were doing the most. Because back then, that wasn't even crossing my mind. I was like, oh my gosh, you got a cute outfit. And it, for me, I was thinking it's a two for one special. I get two brats for the price of one. That was my mindset growing up, getting these dolls. Like, I never thought of anything sneaking out the house. Like, I think that's really ridiculous in my opinion. My opinion? But it was kind of weird, like a secret date. I could see why they were concerned. A little bit. You were concerned enough you bought it. <laughs> you were concerned enough you bought it. So I don't know why you try to act like you're a different you're a different mother. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, I'm gonna finish up this liner because I can't talk and do liner at the same time. Also, another controversy the brats went through. People thought they were too over sexualized and they had too much they were removing too much like adults because technically they were teenagers and they thought their outfits were, were a little bit too extra. Um, I mean, did I ever want to dress like a brat doll? <laughs> <laughs> I want to dress like a brat doll now. I didn't want to dress like a brat doll back then. I think the most thing I think I feel like a brat had a poncho and I wanted a poncho. <laughs> like or like, I don't really remember ever being like I want to dress like a brat in my opinion but I can see where they're coming from at that point but I don't remember being that young and not really thinking of them in a sexual light I just thought their outfits were dope they were giving me what Barbie wasn't giving you know what I'm saying so obviously with brats because um Mattel was not happy with brats taking over because Listen, brats came out of nowhere and really stepped on their necks and applied pressure. So because of that, brats faced some legal actions. Brats being the petty betty that they are. Not brats, sorry. Barbie being the petty betty that they are. They were not happy about brats because at one point brats was making 40% of the toy industry when it came to sell and Barbie was making 60, but over time brats started gaining popularity to the point that um it also barbie in the united kingdom and then sales of barbie started to drop because you know brats were just in it like their commercials were fun the outfits were fun the whole idea like things like things that you never saw barbie do like gothic barbie was never really a thing barbie had fairies but brats did fairies but it was just sickening you know like i'm sorry i mean it was just it was just it was a vibe so here is some tea so Barbie actually sued MJ Entertainment because Carter Bryant, the creator of Bratz, actually developed the Bratz idea while on a seven month hiatus from Mattel. 
So he basically had an agreement with Mattel when he was working there that anything that he created, his intellectual property, belonged to Mattel while employed at Mattel. And then he went on the seven month break, created Bratz, sold it to G8 Entertainment. Yeah. And he, but he sold it to, he mm. sold it two weeks before mm -hmm. quitting. Yeah. So he was still technically a Mattel worker. Sorry, my camera died. So me and mom were talking about how <laughs> NGA Entertainment actually sued Mattel for my scene. So my scene actually came out a year after the Bratz came out. So for me, I think I got Bratz later on in 2002. Um, Cause I remember owning my scene first and then I remember getting Bratz later that year and it literally changed the game for me. So um, I was it my, my aunt got it from Costco. They were on sale, imagine. Imagine they were on sale. They were that cheap that she was able to buy all four all at once. All, <laughs> all four all at once, okay? So let's talk about some more drama. So Mattel sued Bryant, Mattel sued MGA, MGA sued Mattel. <laughs> oh, but bringing it back to legal issues because honestly, there's a lot more tea in the legal issues that I did say. So the CEO of MGA, he actually came up with many explanations of who created the brats. He said that focus groups or his daughter created, helped him create the brats and everything like that until Mattel got an anonymous tip. Who snitched? Who snitched? <laughs> who, who really snitched? Who snitched? So apparently <laughs> someone snitched, sent an anonymous tip telling them that it was created by the creator Carter Bryant while he was hired by Mattel. So that's how it kind of brings it into the whole controversy and how and all that kind of stuff that we talked about earlier. But yeah, it was anonymous tip. <laughs> Yo, the doll industry is not playing. They want their coins. They want their coins. But also, back in 2008, the federal judge actually ruled in favor of Mattel. And Mattel was rewarded $100 million in damages. <laughs> Oh, way to go for picking on the little guy, Barbie. Way to go. I think I'm also going to do a video, guys, on Barbie history. I think that would be very interesting because I am planning on doing a Barbie-inspired look because I actually got the Barbie collection from ColourPop, so I think it would be a really cool video to do a whole Barbie look as well. So let me know if you guys are interested in that too. However, the brats were like, not, not on my watch. They're like, you're not taking what we created. Mattel so they actually fought back and they went back to court in 2010 July 2010 they were declared ownership of the Bratz dolls they reversed the initial decision so I also want to talk about Bratz in the media so Bratz had a lot of like TV shows not TV shows they had like movies TVs they had Bratz go to Paris and movie they had Bratz rock angels they also had a live-action Bratz movie which I thought it was terrible I'm sorry. The other day, um, I watched it. Like, I feel like within the year, and I'm like, this was so bad. <laughs> like, it was so bad. And, like, it kind of really, like, ruined the brass for me. Like, the way I envisioned them. So, seeing... And then I also feel like they really whitewashed the cast, in my opinion. Like, um, you know, that that's just how I, I look at it as. I feel like they really could have, like done so much more with it and it was just it was just weird it was just very weird so definitely and it's not a cult classic we're not calling that a cult classic because it, it's not it's it, it's not unfortunately um Bratz also had tv shows they had Bratz the tv series Bratz design academy Bratz rock Bratz making the band and Bratz web scene I only know Bratz tv series I didn't know they had all these other stuff but like I said I feel like these came a little bit later on so in 2018, Bratz collaborated with Hayden Williams. Hayden Williams is an artist and he is known for creating, like drawing these very fashionable looking like ladies in like a tour outfit. And they're usually um, inspired by celebrities, um, cartoons, like Disney princesses. And he puts them in a very, he creates them in a very couture, high fashion um, aesthetic. So he actually partnered up with Bratz in 2018 to create a collection using his designs. So, okay, 
So it's really cool to see Brat still being such an impact today, especially when it comes to fashion, especially when it comes to the Gen Z generation. I'm millennials, the Gen Z generation, a lot of them, I see a lot of them doing Brat's look, dressing like Brat's, because like I said, the Y2K eras were really on and popping. I wish they did create Brat's more, I wish they did come up with more themes, but obviously the generation's different. Playing with Barbie dolls is not what it used to be anymore, and um, yeah, it makes it make it does make me sad. But it's just amazing that till this day brats are still making an impact with their fashion for passion and passion for fashion. And even when you go on their Instagram, I love seeing people take old brats dolls and they revamp them into something fresh and it is really cool. If you ever go on their brats page, they like to repost people who like, you know, redo the dolls over, give them a makeover, you know, create outfits. It's really cool seeing that and um I believe the look that I'm recreating day recreating is from a doll collector that recreated the doll themselves. So I'm gonna finish off this makeup off camera and then yeah I'll be back and just to show you guys the final look. Hey babe, so this is my final Bratz look. Like, ah, I look exactly like her. I absolutely love the way this look turned out. I didn't want to do too cartoony with the Bratz. I wanted to still look, you know, very doll-like but still very wearable at the same time. Nothing too, too crazy. But this is my Bratz look. And I really hope you guys enjoyed my Brat makeup and Bratz history video. I feel like this is something... I like you know makeup and commentary I'm so sorry this video was all over the place because literally as I was doing the makeup I was like shoot let me talk about the history of brats while I'm doing that why why not right why not talk because I you know so I thought it was a great idea last minute writing jot notes with my mom you hear my mom in the background talking with me during the video so thank you so much I'm sorry this video is very very long um but let me know if you like videos like this let me know if I should do anything else I am thinking about doing a Barbie look in a Barbie series talking about Barbie and everything like that and I have a few more ideas to talk about so yeah i feel really motivated and yeah just let you guys know that brats is coming back even though they discontinued a couple years ago they will be coming back in august 2021 i found out that i found out that they will be going into select retailers and they're going to be giving um selling certain series and certain collector items so they are coming back for all our brat lovers and collectors and everything like that so thank you so much for watching this video make sure you check out my instagram my twitter my tiktok my facebook make sure you check out all the all my other youtube videos especially how i block brows so you guys understand how i do that and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial please like comment subscribe let me know if you like the brats let me know if you're a doll lover let me know what you love growing up as a kid so thank you so much my people bays. Bye!